Now as it is written, our hero was smitten And rescued the maiden from impending doom On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels He rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less And the whole part concerning the uppercut scare Can be pinned at least to some extent On her damaged brain and plan Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's who's gonna care? Oh, what a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopper baba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe, don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! Well, she seems to have coped okay. I probably shouldn't have parked her under a beehive when I took a break, though. Ah! Oof. Oh. oh, that was quite a drop. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. Doesn't matter though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And goal. Oh, what am I gonna do with goal now? Damn! This time, I'll get a more worthy vehicle for us. One that you don't always tumble off of. I know, brain implant and so forth, but would you mind jumping over the canyon into that funnel over there would be nice. All right, I'll think of something else. Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon, and this is a rusty old crane for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. You're not supposed to put things on the back shelf if you're planning to break. Come on now. Ah, nothing, damn. No matter what awaits me behind it, I'm prepared. This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. That thing loads junk into the mine lorry when it's here. Tetanus inducing rust and unsecured power cables as far as the eye can see. Oh, <laughs> time I got out of here. Something's still missing here. Oh yeah, of course. My interest. Oh yeah, just the carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Uh, where will she sit? Check! Uh, nothing. I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere. If I had planned to be a trash hunter, I would have stayed in Kuvak. In any case, I'm not going to rummage through there without good reason. Whoa, who's that? Hmm, a rusty drain pipe. 
chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh, hello. Is that booze? A handyman's best friend, yes. Steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blades. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. Go on, have some. There's enough for the both of us. Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I do... No! My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. Huh? I'm Doc. Handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head. All the same to me. Visit Doc. Da -da 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 -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. I'm a handyman myself. Ah, a colleague. Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you. Daring to try the impossible. I like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. Exactly. One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Spare parts and brain surgery? What a strange combination. You think so? I always thought that both professions are more or less in the same vein. Oh, I see. Like genius and madness. I'll take that as a compliment. But you're damn right. So what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, you look like a wombat ruffling through the trash hunting for food. I'm looking for spare parts. I knew that. Well, found anything yet? If you know what you want, you'll always reach your goal. Hey, that's my family's motto. Oh, no, wait. My family's motto was, it's enough to know how to light a fire. There will be others around who know how to operate an extinguisher. Is it far to the lower ascension station? No, no, not at all. Great. It's right behind this mountain of trash. Grandissimo. Right behind the unbeatable mine maze. Terrific. Just a thought. In case a fellow handyman faced a problem, really just as a thought experiment. Handymen don't know any problems. Only challenges. Oh, my thoughts exactly. But handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. <laughs> All right, shoot. What's the trouble? When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. Ha <laughs> ha! It would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, the uh, parallel shank. Oh, you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shot. And what a stroke of luck! I just found one! Here you go! Hey, great. This is exactly what I need, <laughs> seemingly. Uh... What's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it, too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting and 
AVO power thingy. I, I can do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning, my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on waterbeds. Is there anything else? My girlfriend is too heavy. Is that so? Well, I've just a piece of advice you need. Really? Yes. Keep your hands off women like that. All you'll accomplish is a strained pelvis. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Is there anything else? My girlfriend has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place then. It has to be destiny that our paths crossed. Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two years? Yes. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? Nothing that I can't handle myself. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY for the win. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. And visit me on the floating black market in case we don't meet here again. I was talking about one sip, not the whole bottle. <laughs> Did I tell you that I have herpes? What the? So what's the big idea drinking from my bottle? I'm a doctor. Amongst other things, I can't afford any disfiguring infectious diseases. Who'd be willing to undergo brain surgery if I had one? Yeah, who would? Wipe the bottleneck clean at once and thoroughly. Okie dokie. <laughs> It's a bad idea to ride a mine bike while drunk because of tunnel vision. <laughs> On the other hand, there are a lot of tunnels around here. And the signalman seems to have set his last points. One thing's for certain, this is not the key to eternal life. <laughs> Too high! Hey you, come down from there! Oops! That must be the fuse box for the signal. The box is screwed shut, as if a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces! It's real filthy, I can't make out anything. Where's Tony when you need her? All signals are on go, so why am I still here? Red lights. The only lights whole districts are named after. Eh, it's always good to have a spare. What did Doc say? Rufus, always remember, a power inverter inverts the power. If you implant an inverter, that gadget's function will be inverted. But why am I telling you all this? You, Rufus, are the most brilliant handyman in the universe. Someone should name a planet after you. Ah, good old Doc. Wow, a Lux 4000 power torch. What a waste. Who needs that much light when he hightails on rails through a tunnel at 200 without brakes? Boy, oh boy, it's dark in here. Luckily, I have mastered the high art of sonar orientation. I just have to listen to the sound waves reflecting from the walls, and foo, I can see like a bat. Ooh. Uh, this is a wall, no doubt about it. Ha! Finally, some light! Huh? The darkness must have distorted the sound waves. I don't have any other explanation.
Let's give it a try. Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these, uh, ravioli inverters. I, I hope it's still functional. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, there! And there! And there? And here's another part that looks the same. Damn! What's supposed to be a part of it and what isn't? Hi there. Huh? What? Oh! Hello! I have some more, uh, challenges. Keep them coming! Any chance you have another one of those power inverters? No. But being the accomplished handyman you are, you can easily build one yourself. You can find the parts laying around here, everywhere. Of course. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Is there anything else? Well, I happen to know someone who is incapable of building a power inverter. What a dunce! <laughs> it's really easy. Yeah, isn't it? Is there anything else? This friend I was talking about? The dunce who is incapable of building such an easy gadget like a power inverter? Yeah, that's the one. You wouldn't believe it. He has all the components, and he still can't figure it out. It's really easy. That's what I said. All you have to do is... Using the most basic knowledge from primary school. This guy must really be an utter failure. <laughs> yeah. On the other hand, he's quite cool and good looking. Better than you. Oh, I doubt that. Is there anything else? Nothing that I can't handle myself. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY for the win. You seem to know your way around women. Ha! You've said it. Why do you ask? Do you think someone like me could get involved with a woman from Elysium? Oh, Rufus. Like I always say. It's the same with women like it is with building a power inverter. You can attach a screw bushing to a spherical body, but never a clamp bushing to a cubicle one. Uh-huh. A friend of mine knows this woman. He thinks that she's really got something. But? But, well, she's kind of engaged. Oh my, Rufus. You sure know some weird people. Well, the situation isn't any more complicated than the assembly of a power inverter. As long as the mauve muff has to stay attached to the cubicle body, there will never be an avial power inverter with a mauve muff. Makes sense, eh? Uh, can a misunderstood but extremely laid-back guy from the wrong side of the tracks compete against a rich Elysian? Oh dear. It's always the same old story. Love may give you wings, but a dorsal power inverter still has more spokes on the bevel than a binausial one. That's just how things are. All right, what can I do to catch the attention of a woman who's already engaged? Well, there's no recipe for that. But if you ask me, I'd tell you to take the power inverter as an example. Four spokes, screws, two spokes, Clamps. It's that easy. Ah, forget it. I know more about women than anyone else. I see. So you're a ladies' man, too. Well, I hope I could help you anyway. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. I can build a power inverter in my sleep. Off into the inventory with it. I wonder if I can assemble a second one. Not bad, Rufus. You're a natural. I'll just assemble the third one real quick. 
there. <laughs> I bet the doc couldn't have done it as brilliantly as me. And sit tight. Ha! I mean, uh, of course it does. It's a piece of cake for a pro. Let's give it a try. Like a kitten with asthma. A cool, exploding asthma kitten. Off we go! Yippee! Whoa, a lever! Wow, what a ride! Wonder where I am? Hey, wait a second. This looks exactly like the starting point, only I'm facing the other direction. Huh. They must have arranged the tracks symmetrically, or I must have gone in a circle. I knew this would happen! This says I haven't loaded enough trash to be able to switch the points. That doesn't matter though. I can't take off without goal anyway. Hmm? Uh, hmm. Ah, yep, all clear. I don't have any trouble with pasta recipes. Locked. A dirty old rag. Every respectable handyman has one of these. There really was a secret passage. I wonder where it leads. Top notch. <laughs> Clean. Now I have a cloth soaked in alcohol. Hi there. Do you come here often? Don't drop it, you hear? A hex key for hex nuts. The nerd amongst tools. A component that's designed to fail. <laughs> As if you need to design components for that. Let's see, if I install the power inverter here, the signal is doing the exact opposite of what the signal light is showing. <laughs> Excellent! Huh, the bright light stabilizes the sound waves. I can see in the dark. Ouch! The lever for the points, detached and discarded. It was probably the signalman's last wish for the mine bike to never roll again. Well, he didn't reckon on me. Hey, there's still something in there. This is still half full. <coughs> Only a beetle.
What? Uh oh. No, 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 no! Phew. Obviously, I don't want to invert this. Not again. Child's play. <laughs> Ready? Go! <laughs> Crap! Oh, damn! What's wrong with me? I'm usually totally laid back. It must be the fumes from the mine. How can Doc stand them? Huh, I'd better go and ask him. <laughs> 